So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 8 of our Youth Academy career mode. So starting off this episode we will be having a look at a squad report so you can keep up to date with how all of the players are getting on. So as you can see there a lot of the players are actually in the green which is fantastic for us but the big news there is that the first player ever is this guy claimed to reach showing great potential. That's right, guys. I'm so happy about that, that a player of ours is actually showing as a showing great potential. So the reason being that he's now showing now, which I didn't actually know about, but I saw in the comment section down below, where one of you guys did comment that you don't actually get a status or players don't get a status until they reach 60 overall. So as soon as Klain reached that 60 overall, we looked at it and he had showing great potential. But jumping straight into this game against Gilligan, we took a fantastic start there as Patera, our number eight, scored a fantastic goal, pulling off the end to a fantastic team move. So as you can see here, we played some lovely balls uh, through to Klain. Klain cut back inside, played the ball through to Pera, and Patera with a lovely finish, past the Gillingham goalkeeper into the back of the net. But our lead didn't last very long, because straight after that, they had a good chance. They went for goal, and they did, in fact, find the back of the net. And to be honest, I thought the goalkeeper should have done a little bit better here, because as <coughs> you can actually see, it was quite central. From, from the replays from behind the goal, you can see they play the ball inside. They do strike it with some power, but the shot was quite central. I do think um, our goalkeeper, Henriquez, could have done a little bit better to prevent that shot from entering the back of the net. But then we had a good chance with Strafe. Strafe went to goal, but another fantastic save from their goalkeeper. And they went for another shot, but that one was well wild and went miles over the bar. But the final chance of the game would fall to us as we had a good chance down the right-hand side. We tried to cut back inside, which we do do. We played the ball across to Elsnick, and Elsnick went for the goal, but the goalkeeper making a fantastic save to deny us. And the last, very last chance of the game did fall to us. We played the ball through to Klain. Klain went for goal and you bet your bottom dollar Klain would find at the back of the net. This guy, the showing great potential guy, is on fire. He's banging in goals for us left, right and centre and that was a fantastic finish into the bottom corner as Patera set him up and that was a very smart finish. Cut him back on his left boot and side foot in the ball past the Gillingham goalkeeper to win us the game. As you can see there the referee did blow the final whistle as there was no other actions um, to show you guys. So Klain did pick up a 9.4 match rating and was of course our man of the match. But if you guys are wondering why is this a post commentary? The reason being is because once again I did a live commentary but when I went to record it the live commentary part was just non-existent. It was not there so therefore I've had to edit everything, edit the clips out and then uh, basically comment over it like I am doing now. So I'm not used to doing this, so it might feel a little bit weird at times. I'm not sure, guys, but I'm trying my best anyway. And also, I really do not feel well, and as you can probably hear <coughs> by my voice, I am coughing a lot and trying not to cough during the video because I have got a quite bad chest infection, but I'm still trying to release videos for you guys. But the game uh, here was going to be up against Port Vale, and Port Vale were actually near the bottom of the table. They're currently sitting in 18th place, so it should have been a routine victory for us. But we did go 1-0 down very early on with a fantastic header into the back of the net from their striker. But then we completely pounded their goalkeeper. We played fantastic throughout the game, but we just could not beat their goalkeeper. That was the only problem. As you saw in the highlights, it was just save after save after save. We could not beat the Port Vale shot stopper, and that was what was the crucial part in the game. So they had pretty much one chance and scored from it. We had plenty of chances and failed to score from it. So a little disappointing that we did in fact lose that game against Port Vale because Port Vale were near the bottom of the league. But the third and final game of this episode was going to be up against Bury or Bury, however you pronounce that, and we were going to be playing away from home. The only problem is our away form is really bad, but we did get off to a good start here as we went down the ring with um 
Who's that? It was Nick Brito, actually. We were playing with our second team lineup in this one, and he tried to create a good chance for himself, but just failed to do so. They then had a good chance, but our goalkeeper come out, and this time actually done something good in his life, as he made a good punch on the ball. Alexandrov then played the ball inside. We tried to go for goal, which we did do, but once again, it was a good block from their defenders, and we're really struggling, to be honest, to try and get a decent chance. But in the 45th minute, that is definitely what we got. It's Hutchinson, the centre defensive midfielder, charged through the back line. It was a lovely ball through to him and that was a very smart finish into the bottom corner. Because even though the goalkeeper did get a good touch on it, he didn't get a strong enough one to push it around the post or over the bar. And we took the lead just before the half-time break, which was desperately what we needed, especially away from home. But then they had a good chance here as they played the ball inside and it was a fantastic finish into the far corner. So not long after the halftime break, they did in fact equalise the game. A little bit disappointing that we couldn't hold on a little bit longer, but their striker scored the goal for them, which put them back on level terms. So the scoreline sat at 1-1. The goalkeeper was a little bit disappointed, but this time for once, we cannot blame him. It was a good shot and the goalkeeper was at full stretch and he couldn't get anywhere near that one to keep that one out. But... We then had a good chance here as we played the ball out wide to Alexandrov. He played the ball inside. We went for goal, but it was very poor and straight into the goalkeeper's arms. But Eric Peters then had a fantastic chance. He cut back inside. And what about that for a slice of luck? The ball got a big deflection on it. The goalkeeper was sent the wrong way. And Eric Peters was doing the Ronaldo S celebration as we scored in the 83rd minute to pretty much secure all three points. Eric Peters does very well, cuts back inside, but a little bit disappointing that he couldn't finish it on his own but we're not complaining as he still was awarded the goal but then Smith who just come on the pitch as well had a good chance cut back inside clearly got taken down and the referee pointed to the penalty spot so in the 89th minute we had the chance to put the cherry on the icing on the cake we could wrap up all three points here away from home, something that we're not very good at and we weren't even going to give the penalty to Smith as he won it. We thought we'd given the privilege of taking it and Smith was up against the goalkeeper and it was a lovely penalty into the top roof of the net to secure all three points as that was it for the game. So we ended up winning the game by three goals to one. So we did take the lead, then we were pegged back to 1-1 one, one, but then in the second half we scored two goals in the space of seven minutes but that was how the game finished and Smith was the one that picked up the man of the match as well but that is in fact going to be it for this episode of career mode sorry it's a little bit shorter than usual but if you guys don't know already I am going on holiday soon for five days so I'm trying to get as many videos uploaded for you guys and recorded so you can see how dedicated I am to try and get these videos up for you but that is in fact going to be it if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated and don't forget if you're not here hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and creamers thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very very soon thank you bye bye